What is going on guys, it's Jake with Exploit Academy. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create headers to easily manage and organize your addresses within Cheat Engine. Let's check it out. Alright guys, so in this video, I'm not actually going to show a salt cube because we really don't need it. We just need to focus on the addresses that we have already inside of Cheat Engine. So you can see how you can easily start building up a lot of addresses within Cheat Engine and it can grow pretty out of control pretty fast. So an easy way to take care of that is using headers. You can also change color of the addresses, although I don't really use it, but you can. So to do that, uh, to create a header, go into the empty area of your address space here and right click and go to create header. Now here you can name it, of course, whatever you want. So I'm gonna create a header for my character so I can easily organize all the addresses that involve just my character alone. So I'm gonna call it player. Now I'm gonna drag this player to the top here. And now to add addresses under that header, simply click the address that you want. So I want my player health, my player armor, and my player ammo to go inside of it so I can hold down shift, select all three, click and drag until that line meets just the middle of the header title and release and so there you go so now all of these uh, player involved addresses are in a player category you can't expand and collapse by default so if you want to make your header collapse or expand you can right click the header and go down to group config and manual expand and collapse so now you can easily hide the addresses that you don't want to use at the moment or you're not uh, going to be modifying anytime soon so that's pretty cool also you can see how the header has a checkbox well you can use this to activate or deactivate all the uh, addresses underneath it so if you want to go like full god mode for example and enable infinite health infinite armor infinite ammo and all that stuff at one time you can simply right click the player header go down to group config and select activating this entry activates its children so now you can click it and it'll activate all the children but you can see by default it doesn't deactivate so to do that right click the header again go to group config and make sure this deactivating this entry deactivates his children box is checked so now you can see that when you select and deselect the header everything underneath it works accordingly so that's really cool so of course you can also create subheaders for your headers which is useful if you want to create something like a hierarchy for your addresses so to do that again create a new header and just call it uh, we'll call it let's call it player positions or player position for example and okay and all you have to do is drag that under your player again and then you can take let's take these three player addresses here player position addresses and drop them under that player position header and again I'm gonna make that header expand and collapse so we can hide these uh, player position addresses if we don't need them and there you go. It's pretty simple. You can keep doing this however you want it. Like I said, this is an easy way to manage your address. And also, if you like to save your cheat tables, it makes your cheat tables really organized within Cheat Engine. You can also color. You can also color code all of your addresses if you want. So, for example, this header address here. If I right click and go to change color, you can just put red, for example, and click OK. And for player positions, if I want that green, I can go to change color, make it green and hit OK and there you go you know you can do this for all of your addresses if you'd like it really helps if you're building up a large list of addresses if you're just doing a couple of small addresses I wouldn't recommend doing this it's kinda useless however you can also use it to create like I said god mode type cheats and stuff like that easily without having to go in and program it yourself so and that's pretty much it guys really short and sweet I just want to show you for those who do not know that you can do this type of stuff inside of cheat engine so if you found this video useful please like subscribe to my channel show your support and I'll see you in my next video